Hey guys, in this video I want to tell you about my favorite end mill when it comes to machining aluminum. These end mills are specifically for aluminum and I've actually talked about them in a couple of previous videos and some of you have asked, so I've decided it's time for a full review. Uh, right up front I want to say I'm not sponsored by the company that makes these end mills, which is called YG Tool or something like that. Uh, I actually buy these from lathinserts.com and I'm not sponsored by them either. I pay the same price for these end mills that you do. I was actually turned on to these end mills by a YouTube user, Xkenna, and he had told me about these end mills and I bought some and, and fell in love with them. And then I actually later realized that he, I think he owns lathinserts.com or at least he works for them. Uh, but I'm not affiliated with him or the website or any of that. So let me tell you about this end mill that you're looking at. Uh, this is a quarter inch end mill with a 3 8 shank. It's got a 5 8 flute length. It's two flutes. It's high speed steel. Interestingly enough, it's got a 42 degree helix angle, which is kind of high for high speed steel. You usually don't see uh, helix angles like this, except for carbide. Um, my favorite part of this end mill, though, is that it's eight bucks. Eight bucks plus shipping, and you are going to have a very high performance end mill. And uh, I've broken a couple of these from crashes and just from abuse. I have not wore one out. They give, I mean, they're razor sharp. They give a great finish, assuming your machine's not vibrating or anything. And uh, chip evacuation is fantastic, which you're going to see in just a minute. I'm going to show you three different cuts. We're going to do a 15% step over, a 30%, uh, and then a full slot. We'll go down and back. And uh, I think you're going to be impressed with what you're seeing here. Go to lathinserts.com. Check the link in the description and uh, buy a couple of these. Tell me what you think. If you had a you know a heavier, more rigid machine, you're probably even going to get better results than what I'm getting because this mill does bounce around a little bit. So let me tell you about this first cut. 15% step over is 37 and a half thousandths. We're feeding at 14 inches per minute. We're running at 2100 RPM, which is high speed for this uh, for this mill. Uh, let's see what else. Half inch depth of cut and the feeds for this. Um, for these cuts all came from the G wizard calculator. You can see here, there's a little bit of a, uh, well, you probably have to go to 1080p to, or 1080 to look at this, but the surface finish is not great, but I think that's more a function of the, of the uh, rigidity of the mill because on this next one, we're going to do a 30% step over, which is 75 thousandths with a cut, slow the feed way down to 5.5 again, 2100 RPMs, half inch depth. And the finish comes out, uh, quite a bit smoother. So I think we've really got it dialed in with this 5.5 inches per minute. Uh, the reason I stop at 30% from what I've been reading online, you want to do all of your cuts uh, between 0 and 30% or 70 and 100%. You want to stay away from the from the 30 to 70 range. You're getting towards the middle of the end mill. So go up as high as 30% and uh, hope you paused or go back and look. Really, really great surface finish. Okay, so for this last one, it's a slot. Uh, we're gonna be running at 2.3 inches per minute, pretty slow. And I'll zoom this in and speed it up here in just a second. But one thing I wanna point out, I didn't use flood coolant on the last two cuts because I wanted to show you what this thing could do without flood. I'm using flood on this one because frankly, this is considered a deep slot. When it's twice the width uh, in depth, that's deep and you're going to have a hard time with chip chip evacuation because the chips are going to kind of want to stick down in the hole. Now in the past, I've just used my shop vac. I've got a small shop vac that I use and it literally will just suck the chips right out of the hole. But with flood coolant, you can see with the lubricity, I mean, the chips just climb out of that slot. I mean, just look at the aluminum pile up. It's fantastic. Uh, if you don't have flood coolant, you could be shooting some, uh, you know, WD-40 or something else down in there. Uh, but you're probably not going to want to take this deep of a cut simply because the chips are not going to want to, not going to want to pull all the way out. Now this end mill does have a lot better chip evacuation than end mills that have a lower helix angle. But again, you kind of need that lubrication to help the chips come out of there. So I'll go ahead and show you what this looks like. The wall finish looks really good. Um, of course, you know, there could be some deflection going on. Uh, it seems like a pretty rigid end mill with that 3 8 shank. And I have tried larger end mills uh, in the same variety, but I've stopped buying end mills over quarter inch because my machine's just not rigid enough to be running, in my opinion, uh, half inch end mills. 3 8 end mills, not too bad. Anyway, that's it for this video. Check the links in the description. And while you're down there, hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And uh, thanks for watching, guys.